So I was recently asked about um, could I use Flowgrithm to develop a probability calculator of two events. I thought, mm, yeah, you probably could. I, I, I'm not really a maths person, but I'm sure there must be some work on there online that I could work from. So I found this website on how to calculate probability of two values. I've got the steps on it to help me work it out. So I've, I've done this in Flowgrithm and just used the same results to, to check it. So what I have is several functions so A and B, A not B, A or B, A or B not both, B not A, neither A nor B, not A not B, which match up with these uh, probability events in here. Each one of these is a function so I'm just going to show you each function so there's the first one, there's the second one, third one you can see all that happens is the it comes in and it does the calculation and in some cases it requires previous calculations to do that so I'm calling the function from within the function it's nothing uh, unusual here there we go B not A neither A nor B not A and uh, not B I suppose one of the more interesting ones will be something like this where because it's one minus the A or B function, so it calls that function within that function to use that answer. Okay, so all I'm doing here is taking the two inputs, calling each of those functions, and just displaying the the probability. Because I'm returning, if I look at the function again, um, let's just go back into here. Uh, you can see I'm returning the the answer. Okay, so I'm going to run it. I'm going to use the same data here, so 0 0.5 for A and 0 0.4 for the probability of B. So 0 0.5, 0 0.4 spits out my answer, and I'll compare it against the, calc the online calculator I found. So we've got, I've not done in the same order I don't think, so not A, 0.5, not B, 0.6, the union, 0.7, the intersection, 0.2, the exclusive or, 0.5, neither A nor B, 0.3, not A not B, 0.3, B not A, 0.2. So there you go, um, yes it's possible to generate a probability calculator using flow algorithm and yes I guess you could take this forward and use it for a D&D RPG critical hit probability program but I'll leave that one with you guys so I hope you find that useful